Hi, my name is Sam Allen, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Specialist at NTUSF. I'm here with Danielle Gamboni, who's going to tell us about the master's degree in pharmaceutical nanotechnology at USF. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Danielle Gamboni, and I am the Assistant Director for Graduate Programs here in the USF Health Tunisia College of Pharmacy. Could you please tell me a little bit about the MS in Pharmaceutical Nanotechnology here at USF? Absolutely. This graduate program is a relatively new program. It's roughly about four years old. However, the growth within the program and the student success is one to be noted. The program is the only program of its kind in the nation. So we combined the pharmaceutical sciences application of it, as well as the nanotechnology application and the emerging technology and how they not only complement one another, but how the future of healthcare is going in that direction and more so the future of pharmacy. So being the only program of its kind in the nation, we do provide a varied uh, career path for students during their time academically within the program. So students have a, a large range of options to choose from academically in the program. And so that can range from hands-on experience in the lab, completing an internship, um, having the ability to do the program 100% online. So just overall, holistically, we service all different types of students. And I noticed that you had multiple different tracks Uh, Could you tell me a little bit more about the concentrations and tracks that students can go? Absolutely. So the program offers three different tracks. We have the general track, the entrepreneurship track, and then the research track. And then we have two approved concentrations. One is the biomedical engineering concentration, and the other is what we call a D4M concentration. That's abbreviated. It's for a drug discovery, development, and manufacturing concentration. Oh, that's really interesting. Could you tell me a little bit more about that one? Absolutely. So the D4M one is actually very attractive to a lot of our students. Within that concentration, it is a research master's concentration. So students would have to do a thesis project, and it's within the realm and concept of drug delivery, development, and manufacturing. So coming within the Tunisia College of Pharmacy, a lot of students are interested in combining that pharmacy side with the drug development, the industry, all of that. So students get to work and choose a faculty member within that realm to serve as their major professor. And then they ultimately get to write their thesis and then in turn, upon graduation, potentially get their thesis published. I know that we've talked about the pharmaceutical nanotechnology being the only of its kind, but could you tell me how it's different from maybe more traditional pharmacy degrees? Absolutely. So in saying that it's the only program of its kind in the nation is there are other nanotechnology programs in the United States. There are. However, we are the only ones that combine that scientific pharma application and how the emergence of nanotechnology is having direct implications within healthcare, not just pharmacy, but medicine, engineering. So in our program, our, between our core courses and our electives, we truly relay to the student the direction that nanotechnology is taking and its application. Whereas other programs within the states, they may focus on nanotechnology and how broad essentially it could be, but not in direct connection with pharma. So it's more in practice rather than in theory. Absolutely. And having that hands-on experience and having the expertise of the faculty here direct on campus gives students a superior niche, I'd say, above any other program in the states that focuses on nanotechnology. So what are the direct benefits of majoring in pharmaceutical nanotechnology for students? There, There are tons of benefits. So first and foremost, being the only program of its kind, you're unique. As soon as a Um, industry, as soon as a professional program or a PhD committee, upon reviewing your application to their program, sees on your resume or your transcripts, a Master of Science in Pharmaceutical and Nanotechnology, immediately they go, hmm, what is that? So it it poses the, the curiosity, the innovation, the entrepreneurship route that pharmaceutical nanotechnology encompasses within it. And it truly makes you more competitive. It makes you stand apart from your fellow colleagues, classmates, all the above. And it does give you that innovative knowledge, that foundational knowledge to put you on the forefront of where the future is going, essentially, within all of its applications. So it, it pretty much, you're, you're involved in the change, sort of say. You're leading the change by being the first 
in the cohort, sort of say, of all the students graduating from our program. Right, so it makes you a really valuable member of the future team. Absolutely, that is perfectly summarized. So is this program good for international students? Absolutely, yes. In fact, a lot of our students right now, our program is about 50-50 um, in regards to international versus domestic students. And so if that doesn't say enough in itself, that it's huge attracting in, in all aspects of students, um, not just international students, but we do have your traditional students straight out of uh, BA, BS, you name it, undergrad. But we also have your non-traditional students who are currently working as a high school teacher or are currently working in the industry now, completing the program online. So we do pride ourselves in a hybrid curriculum, a flexible format and course offering, and a variety of electives that students can choose from. And so truly the program is what the student makes of it. Can you tell me a little bit more about the online program that you offer? Absolutely. So the program in itself is 32 credit, credit hours, and it can be completed 100% online. This is in direct correlation to our general track. So a lot of our general track students are looking to go to a professional program, such as medical school, pharmacy school, dental school, you name it, or they're looking to, let's say they're, they're distant, they're from California, hypothetically, and so they're looking and they're perhaps a working individual or a current pharmacist right now practicing at a retail pharmacy. They're looking to fast pace, get this degree again to set themselves apart. And so in that sense, the online program it can be completed in as fast as one year, and all the courses are offered 100% online. So it gives, again, that flexibility in nature for the working professional to do it, for students abroad to do it. There's really no limit as to who can do the online portion. Speaking of working, what are the career opportunities? So I wanna discuss the entrance of the students going into a pharmaceutical industry directly. They can also go into the realm of the creation and testing of biomedical devices. They can become academic faculty if they'd like. So after obtaining the MS degree, you can teach as an instructor level, or you can go on to pursue your PhD and become faculty at any university. You can also, because of its broad sense in nature and also um, discipline within healthcare, some students have entered the public health service field because nanotechnology and direct connection with the water pur purification. So that also in public health sector fits. And then some students can pursue federal research um, and as I've already mentioned, professional schools. But to kind of give you a little bit of idea specifically of job titles that our students have secured after graduation range from, we've had a proposal writer, we've had a formulations research assistant, we've had a laboratory director, a manuscript publisher, a formulations chemist, and a principal research scientist. Now that is specific to career only, and then we've also had students already get their acceptance into medical school and other pharmacy schools alike. I think what's really interesting about this program so far is that even though it's specialized, it's so broad that the person can be a little bit of a jack of all trades. So it absolutely. Makes it even more desirable. Yes, absolutely. And that's what, when the program was created, is what truly we've always wanted to capitalize on. That this program is so unique in the sense of how we offered and how we target and what the students foundationally will learn, but truly it's what the students career aspirations are and what they make of it during their time here in the program. So do you have any outstanding faculty that you'd like to highlight? Yes, so all of our professors within our program truly make it unique, one of a kind, because although they have different areas of expertise and interest, that's what makes the program holistic in the sense, and that upon graduation, the student is truly qualified in a, a wide range of concepts. Um, however, I do want to capitalize on our Associate Dean and Program Director for the program, Dr. Cheyenne Moapatra. He is one that wears many hats here at the university as well as other surrounding facilities such as the VA hospital. He is a researcher there as well. And so Dr. Moapatra is the originator of this program back in 2013. However, the first cohort of students was in 2016 is when the program kind of kicked off. And so Dr. Moapatra was inducted in the Florida Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. And so if that doesn't shed a little bit light on how many um, patents he has, he has right this moment over 40 patents 
And then he has brought to the University of South Florida over $30 million in extramural funds. And so he is a jack of all trades. His main focus is nanomedicine. However, he obviously being the program director here in the Tunisia College of Pharmacy focuses on drug discovery, development. His research areas, to highlight a few, involve cancer, asthma, viral infections, and right now, recently, traumatic brain injury. So he focuses on a variety of research areas and has tons of inventions, i.e. from the patents alone. He is one that would promote student success and any student entering the program. He loves to speak to them. He loves to talk to them. He wants to gather what their career interests are just to help them succeed in the program and onto their next path in their career. It's wonderful that the students have the ability to connect with somebody who has done such tangible things in the community. Yes. Absolutely. And, and it's not just the program director. A lot of our faculty have grants. A lot of our faculty, because we are a unique program, we pull from other areas, whether it be medicine here, the Morsani College of Medicine faculty do participate in whether it's our seminar course where they come and lecture and present their research to our students. So here at USF, specifically the Tunisia College of Pharmacy, we promote interdisciplinary education. We promote collaboration. We promote the networking that here at USF Health, students will automatically get being a part of the health community. What kind of facilities are available to College of Pharmacy students? For the Tunisia College of Pharmacy, students will automatically get access to all of the main campus resources here at the university. So they automatically will get access to the wellness facility, the gym, sort of say. They will get automatically access to the library on main campus and printing resources over there. But being a part of the USF Health, and being a student within health, we have our own fitness center here, state of the art, brand new. So we have what's called the well. And so within the well, there are printing services that students can access. We also have our own technology center and IT assistance. So students can get that direct help that they need instead of waiting on the phone or emailing IT. They also have student study spaces here. We have a student lounge. We have a serenity meditation room. We do have counseling services and then direct um, access to financial aid advisors here over in the well so that they don't have to wait over on main campus that service the, the entire university. What advice do you have for prospective pharmaceutical nanotechnology students? My best advice is regardless of which career avenue you're intending to take, be open. Because this program is so flexible in nature, we've had a majority of students come in and say they truly just want to work in a retail pharmacy as a pharmacist after graduation and get into pharmacy school. And so based on our program, that's great. And students can absolutely pursue that pathway if they so choose. However, when once you combine the nanotechnology aspect of it with the pharmaceutical um, realm, Students are broader in a sense that they can then enter the pharmaceutical industry and work within a company that assists in that drug development, manufacturing, and discovery phases that they may just not have been aware that that's a possible avenue for them to pursue upon entry into the program. Other than that, network, connect, collaborate. Don't be fearful to ask faculty whether they're your instructor for a given course or whether you happen to learn about their research area via uh, the internet or via a information session that you attended or a seminar talk and approach faculty. Get to know them, get to know their research. Faculty oftentimes are more than willing to collaborate with students. And so that is also another unique part of our program that faculty had the opportunity for students to co-author journal publications, ebooks, e-chapters. And so students just have to express the interest. And if they don't know, right, they don't know what they don't know. So they have to kind of be outward and open with faculty and express what their interests are and their future career paths. And you'll never really know what opportunities present itself until the student just outwardly gets in contact and connects with the faculty, with the instructors, with staff alike. And then truly they become a well-rounded graduate after the end of this program. Is there anything that I haven't asked you yet that you'd like to add? In closing, this program is not simply a GPA boosting program. 
if you're straight out of undergrad and perhaps you didn't excel to the extent that you had hoped at the undergraduate level, yes, this program will enhance your application to a professional program or an advanced degree such as a PhD program. However, it is not just that. And oftentimes, master's programs can be that. And so to capitalize on our program in the uniqueness, the flexibility, the networking opportunity, being a small program and being a very unique niched program, it will be very rare for students to find that at the master's level within other master's programs. So to capitalize on the uniqueness, the size of the program, it's also very rare you will have class sizes of 20 or under, and you will have that option and ability to connect with the faculty on that level, whether that's to write a letter of recommendation for your job application after graduation, if you're looking to land that research scientist job at an industry, at a company, or whether that's a letter of recommendation to a PhD program or medical school. So you get that direct connection that oftentimes other master's programs doesn't provide students because of large class sizes or location of the program itself. And so capitalize on that, use that to your advantage and truly seek out faculty and resources during your time here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. Our contact details are on the screen. <laughs>